Yes. Well, good evening. Uh, Ken Staunton here again. Um, very much enjoyed presenting to the audience at the PIN meeting in Cambridge. Um, just uh, a quick summary of what we covered. It was all the legislation which has come across for the private rented sector just this year. Some of it doesn't take effect until 2017, but nevertheless you need to be well aware of it. Indeed. Great. Um, you also spoke about uh, retaliatory, retaliatory eviction. Eviction. Yes, that's, yes. that uh, is um, in, in effect now and deals with what happens if a tenant makes a complaint which is justified and the landlord subsequently issues a Section 21 notice. Um, that would cause the Section 21 notice to fail if right. the tenant's complaint was judged to be justified by the local council. So uh, you need to um, yeah. make sure the property is in good order and do so before you issue Section 21 Section notice. 21. You also spoke about uh, immigration, uh, didn't yes. you? And, this and is called and right to rent. It's embedded right. in the Immigration Act. And what that means is that the landlord has to carry out checks to to verify that the tenant has the right to be renting property in the UK. In effect, uh, whether that person has the right to be in the UK. And um, the legislation requires the landlord to make reasonable checks, okay. um, which would involve looking at original documents like the passport of the person to verify whether they were bona fide uh, residents in the UK. You don't have to be an expert. You just need to have made a reasonable attempt, and you should get a. You should make a photocopy yourself of right. that original document. Don't let your tenant, prospective tenant, give you a photocopy because there may be some subtle difference between the two. Yes, of course, and and uh, us as landlords, we see this um, all the time. Um, but it's one of these checks that we do um, in any case well, yes, uh, normally, isn't it? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I've got Hungarian students, as, uh, exactly. Hungarian and Romanian students. Um, and I do do check on them, and it, and the uh, universities do that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, I would do that because, for example, something like a, um, a a guarantor certificate applying to a student would be not worth the paper it was written on if it was a Romanian student. I mean, how am I going to prosecute? Of course, after my money that's in Romania. So of I would course. need to be very careful who I'm letting my property yeah. to. Well, any, anyway, thank you very much, uh, Ken, for um, being a nice speaker. Uh, and it was a bit sad that you had such a, a difficult time getting here Never with mind. all the I traffic. Had, I had a good dinner in the restaurant to make up for it. So good. I'm feeling very mild now and, and uh, ready for my bed, I think. Thank you very much. Thanks for the Thank you. Bye-bye.